Monday Night Baseball now on the show as we come to you from Target Field here in the Twin Cities. Tonight, the first of this four-game weekend set between the Toronto Blue Jays and the Minnesota Twins. It's time for Twins Baseball next. Irvin Santana will be on the mound for the series opener. What's your take on him, H? Well, he's going for that coveted 30th start today. When pitchers go to spring training, they hope they're healthy enough to get 30 starts. That tells them they've had a pretty good year. So he's had a solid season with his 30th start in this ball game. Gene Segura standing in, and there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. Number two. Hard on the ground towards short. Polanco is there. Throw on to first, and one shortstop grounds out to the other, one away. Now a moment as we take a look at the Jays' starting nine for this one. What's the key for them to win this series opener, Harold? Well, Matt, the bats have just gone cold. There's no other way to put it. I mean, the last three or four games, they've really struggled to score runs. I'm interested in seeing how do they turn that around in this game, because the nucleus of this club and this lineup, they should be scoring runs. Here's the center fielder now, Adam Jones. He comes in currently tied for third in home runs on the team. Here it comes. And that pitch catches the inside corner. And H, we take a look at the Twins as they begin play here tonight. They have not been playing their best baseball of late as they've dropped four of their last five. Yeah, Matt, you know what I find interesting about this team and watching this game today? They are really playing strong baseball. They're playing good down the stretch. And that, to me, is all about that front office and the manager. They haven't quit. They've got plans in the future. And this looks like a club that you look at and you say, look out for them next year. May not get there this year, but next year they will. So let's take a peek at the umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Matthew Ross. You talk about a pitcher's umpire. If you're working both sides of the plate, you have a tendency to be pretty effective with Matthew Ross back there. Look, there's no doubt he's a pitcher's umpire. If I was pitching in this game, I'm sending him a taxi making sure he gets there safe. He might want that pitch back up and away. That's a pitch you can really drive if you have the right approach towards that opposite field gap. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at 2 and 2. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Boy, not what you want coming out of the gate as a pitcher, right? You don't want to have to show all of your pitches this early on in the game, but that's a quality at bat. And what does it make you do as a pitcher? You have to use a lot of your pitches, and the more pitches a hitter sees, the better chance they have to make good contact. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Well, that's back-to-back -back breaking balls. He's able to foul that one off. Will they come back with a third? Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Again, he sends it out of play. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And he lays off here, ball four, and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. Batting third, third baseman, Josh. Donaldson. Digging in, Josh Donaldson. And as you check out his righty-lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right-handers. From the stretch. Squared that one up just a little late. Oh, one pitch on its way. And the changeup is way low that time. The intent with that changeup away was one thing and one thing only. Get a double play ball. Nice job to lay off it at the plate, though. Oh, 
on the run. This one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. If you're going to catch up to a high fastball like that, it's all about getting that front foot down in enough time to allow your hands to start moving forward. He was way too late there. From the belt, the pitch. They try to come in with the fastball, but it's too far in, and it's even at two and two. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Runner on first in a double play situation, so you expect to see a lot of pitches down in the zone. So I think that pitch up right there was a good one. Obviously, the double play is more efficient, but you're always going to take a K when you're on the mound. Into the box now. Jose Abreu as he'll take a look at ball one he'll enter play here with an average just over 250 22 home runs and 67 runs batted in here it comes one and oh takes a look down at the knees for a strike. As a look, now the pitch. Sliced hard, but foul. Look out over there. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Hard hit ball to second. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Well, that's a perfect example of taking a ball fifth. inside out. First you know, you hear that terminology, Carlos stay inside Santana. the ball right there. He took a ball inside and shot it the other way for the base hit. Here's Carlos Santana now as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0 and 1. He'll check in with an average still south of 230 with 19 homers, 57 runs batted in. Yeah. And that's in there as well, 0 and 2 now. Well, he's in a bit of hot water in this first inning, but if he can start throwing his slider effectively like that, he has a lot better chance of settling into this game. He's ready. Here's the 0 2 pitch. Now he lifts a high pop up, drifting into foul territory on the right side. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Blue Jays leave a pair. The Twins coming up. No score. Junior Guerra gets the call for game one of the series. What do we need to know here HR. Well Matt he's really had a tough time his last three outings ERA over nine that's basically giving up a run an inning. He just has really struggled and not been able to figure it out. They're giving him the ball though and anytime you get the ball you got a chance to turn it around. We'll see if today's the day he turns it around. Leading up Striding into the box Eduardo Nunez as Eduardo you get a look at his current Nunez. righty lefty splits entering play in this one. knee-high slider that he takes a look at. Harold, as the Jays take the field here tonight, they come in trying to rebound after a loss that snapped a modest three-game winning streak. Well, Matt, we're watching a team here on a short road trip, and that's easy to have a trap road trip where you think, hey, we'll be home soon, but you got to stay focused and take care of business. These games on the road mean as much as they do at home. And that'll get down for a base hit. The throw into second. The tag, and he's nabbed, trying for two. 
A chance now from Target Field to take a look at the Twins lineup in this one. What's this club need to focus on this evening, H? Well, this is the new model of teams that we see. The strikeout doesn't matter. They're in the top third in the league in strikeouts, so we're going to see a lot of swings and misses today. But if they catch one, look out. Here's the center fielder, Denard Spann. And he really thrives in the batter's box here at home. Something to keep an eye on in this one. First pitch of the at bat on its way. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Bautista ranging back. He gets there, and that's the second out. Batting third, third baseman, Miguel Sano. Here's Miguel Sano. The average for him entering play sits down in the 250s. First pitch of the at bat. A fastball and he swings through it to fall behind. Some guys are great low ball hitters, but most guys, especially guys with pop like this, they're hunting for the ball belt high and above. So that was a nicely spotted fastball down in the zone. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Bases are empty here with two men out. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. And that ends the inning. So nothing in the Minnesota first. We'll head to the second from Target Field. No score here on the show. At the plate, Joe Carter. The average for him entering play, not far Left north fielder, of 200. Joe Carter. Into the windup and the pitch. There's a fastball that just misses ball one. That pitch right there, he's trying to keep him from getting his arms extended. If it's out over the plate more, he can obviously do a lot of damage with it. And a fastball here that's taken for ball two. The 2 0 on the way. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. You're sitting 2 0 in that situation. You get the fastball, but it's not the location you want, so you lay off it. I love that. That's great discipline hitting. Set to deliver on 2 and 1. Breaks his bat as this one's popped up. And he'll steer clear of the flying debris to make the catch here for the first out. All right, time for the majestic defensive Steven. alignment for the Twins. Oh. Well, this team is really going to be busy today. You look at how this pitcher's been struggling all season. All you got to do is look at that ERA. That tells me he's given up a lot of balls hit and the defense is going to be very, very busy in this one. Coming to the plate now, Stephen Vogt hitting just a bit over the Mendoza line on the year. First delivery to him on the way. Hey. Tough slider down low for a strike. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. A fastball that just misses inside. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And what's the call? It's a home run. And now hold everything here. We're going to have a conference down that first base line as there may be some discussion as to whether or not this was really a fair ball. And you can see the umpires pointing down the right field line. We may have a situation here where they'll need to go and review whether or not this was really a home run. And that's precisely what's going to happen as we'll give you a look on our monitors here. All right, the review looks like it's over. Was there indisputable video evidence? Yes, it's a foul ball after all. So take the home run off the board, and there's an instance where the video review got it right.
A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. Throw into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. There's no question he's been struggling at the dish lately, trying to do anything to get himself going. So he's got to feel pretty good after that double. Not to take anything away from him, but I think I could have probably hit that pitch. Yeah, that's one of those gift pitches, not the location he was shooting for. Here comes the right fielder, Jose Batista. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He'll enter play here with that average down in the low 200s. 17 home runs and 47 RBIs. Ready with the 1-0 pitch. A called strike over the outside part of the plate. Lifetime numbers against Irvin Santana. Nine base hits in 35 ABs. Two of those hits were for home runs. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. And the runs across to score and the Jays will take an early 1-0 lead. Well, he comes up with the big RBI hit right there and puts them ahead in this ball game. If they can keep a lead, get to that bullpen, they got a shot to win this game. Stepping in now, Hernan Perez, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Lays oh, off a fastball that doesn't miss by much, and it's 2-0. and Look, Matt, he's nibbling. He's nibbling. I know he's upset he didn't get those pitches, but they just miss off the corner. He can't give in now. Just continue to nibble. Two and 2-0 count, and the pitch. 3-0 and oh now. Well, he was definitely looking fastball here, and he got one, but that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a 3-0 count. Here's the 3-0 pitch. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Set. Here's the 3 1. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. Well, this guy's been prone to giving up walks and bunches, and that's already two walks here in the early going. We'll see if this continues to be an issue for him as this start continues. Ready for another chance? Gene Segura, 0 for 1 here in the early going. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. I'll tell you what, right there, Matt, that's a sign of a guy that was sitting on an off-speed pitch. He threw that fastball right by him. First and second now, one man out. Oh, and this at bat is quickly moving from bad to worse. It's 0-2 now. Not much to say about that swing other than it should have never happened. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And that's through into left to base hit. And they'll quickly get it in here to hold that runner at third base. Whoa, he hit that one a little bit too hard. Line drive single, but the runner Adam second Jones. had to hold up. So he's not going to score, but nice piece of hitting anyway. In now, Adam Jones. 
Now a fastball is swung on and tipped foul right near home plate. It's strike one. The 0 1 pitch. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. A one and one now to Jones. Count is two Slider out. stayed too low. Ball two. Well, things are bad enough as it is right now. One run in, base is juiced, and now he's falling behind the count. You can bet the guy at the plate is thinking about making this a five run inning in a hurry. Ready to deal. Here's the 2 1. Well, now a line drive, and he's not going to have a play on it. And right, this ball gets down for extra bases. Bautista scores. Two runs have scored. They'll extend their lead here as the runner scores from first. That makes it a 4 0 ball game. Base is loaded, and he was looking to drive Third them all in the second he stepped into the John. box. Puts a Donald big swing on this thing, and the ball just gets down to the wall, allowing everyone to come around and score. He'll take a three run double every day of the week. Here's the third baseman, Josh Donaldson. I uh, had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Hey. Fastball and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. So far in this game he's the only guy in the lineup that's gone down on strikes. Yeah and he might strike out for a second time right here. The 0 2 pitch sliced hard on the ground panics got it in time to first and there are two away. Now batting designated hitter Jose Abreu. Now with the plate Jose Abreu he reached on a single in his first try. First pitch coming here it is and that slider is almost in the dirt man it's been a long inning he's grinding through it look he's got an open base and I, any other time I'd say maybe pitch around it but you can clearly see this inning's taking its toll on him right now. Here's a swing and a high pop up drifting toward the third base dugout and no one will get this one. Well he got what he's looking for. He just got out in front of it right there. And did he go around. No he did not. Ball two. I like that check swing. He started to offer at the off speed pitch but he recognized it and was able to hold up. Set to deliver on two and one. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Matt, I like the last two pitches. A change up and then a fastball. And he's late with the swing on the fastball right there. You got him in between right now, and that's an advantage to the pitcher. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. On the move is Span. And that's the third out. So four runs on four hits, no errors in a runner left on. On now to the bottom of the second. The Jays lead it four to nothing. Now at the plate, Jim Diaz. Off and right they've point. got some work to do early right. on. Fielder. Down 4 Jim nothing already. Diaz. Here comes the first pitch. Lifted the other way out to left center. Carter arranged to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. All right, here's how the Jays left line up fielder. defensively. Brought to you by Majestic. And in center field, Adam Jones. Just put a gold glove on him right now. He's going to be there every year, running and ranging and making all the plays in center field. And I love the fact that he's always smiling after he makes a great play on the hitter. Into the box now, Eddie Rosario. And he's looking to turn things around. Ice cold at the plate in recent action.
into the windup and the pitch. And that one stayed too low apparently. Bases are empty one man out. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Here's the one and one delivery. Chop foul over towards the dugout. Another one sent foul. One out, nobody on. Look out, a fastball up near his dome, and that'll wake you up a bit. Well, what do you do when guys keep fouling pitches off like this? I guess you could back them off the plate by throwing one inside. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. And a neck-high fastball that time. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. On the move is Batista. And he makes the catch for the second out. Batting six. Second baseman. Joe Panic. Striding in, Joe Panic. On the season, he's hitting just over 290 coming into action here. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. Two out, nobody on. One. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Ready to deal. Here's the one one. Lifted in the air out to center field. Jones is under it. No trouble with this one. And the inning is over. Twins are set down one, two, three. They're on the short end of a four nothing score. Stepping in and ready for another shot for the Carlos Jay. Santana. First He'll stand in to open things Carlos up here in Santana. the third. Here's Santana right back at it now as he jumps ahead of the leadoff man. It's 0-1. Well, he's really peppering the zone right there, going up in the zone. I wonder if he stays there the whole time. Usually you'll see that with two strikes, not with no strikes. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And, and he misses oh, with it, 1-1. One and one. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Span is under it, makes the play one away. The left fielder, number 29, Joe Carter. Riding in once again, Joe Carter. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Hard hit ball to short. Polanco is up with it. Throw to first, and Santana's got it working here. Two quick outs. Well, I think he got away with one right there. It was a fastball right down the middle, and he hit it hard, but he couldn't elevate it at all. Would have been a different story if he did. 
Now to the plate, Stephen Vogt. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at bat. First delivery to him on the way. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw in time and the side is retired. So very nice work there by Santana. Now let's see if the bats will follow suit. They're down four zip. Stepping up now, Ben Paulson. He brings a rather ugly 230s batting average into this one. First pitch on its way. Nope. Bottom That's three in the batting order here is the first pitch misses to the number seven hitter. It's ball one. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2 0 now. The pitch. Foul back. Line towards center field. Jones is there and he has it for the first out. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Standing in now, John Ryan Murphy. As he Outside looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. Not close, it's 2 0. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a ball hit foul as this will find the seats in right. Well, he fouls off that fastball right there, and you wonder, does he love his fastball enough to come back with it three times in a row? Sent foul again, and after being way ahead, now it's even at two and two. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. That's just quality pitching right there for that strikeout. As we look at all five pitches, notice the location, all five down in the zone. Some guys are real good low ball hitters, but more often than not, keeping the ball down is going to lead to a lot of success on the mound. Now at the plate, Jorge Polanco. And then it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business, but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains to be seen. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. That's just not a competitive pitch. I mean, that ball wasn't even close. Now the hitter's sitting 2 0. 2 0 count. Here it comes. Now a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball, and it's 2 and 1 now. Ready to deal. Here's the 2 1. Swing and a liner. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. Now Digging in to try it again. Eduardo Nunez. He was cut down at second, attempting to stretch a base hit his first time through.
And a fastball just a bit high. One oh count here it is. Grounded foul off to the right. Two out with the man at first. Swing and a high pop-up. Could be tough back behind third. And Donaldson will put this away, and that retires the side. We'll see the dangerous Jose Bautista when we come back. It's the Blue Jays four, and the Twins nothing. Here comes the right fielder, Jose Bautista. He'll try to get it going right here to fielder, begin the fourth. Jose Bautista. Here comes the first pitch. He'll hold off on the slider to start the at bat. It's ball one. Been a real big struggle for him so far on the mound. Four runs and only three innings. So it'll be interesting to see if he can settle in at all and make some adjustments or if this start will continue to run downhill. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. No contact there, and it's one and two. Wow, great pitch right there, right? Changing speeds. How about that straight changeup? How about that swing? Howdy, if you're waving at me. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Pitch on the way. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Well, clearly that changed up the pitch before it didn't fool him because that fastball right there, he's right on it. He just couldn't put it in play. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Span is under it. He's got it one away. The batter number 14, second baseman, Hernan Perez. So coming to the plate, Hernan Perez. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. Hey. Fastball that gets the inside corner, strike one. He's really struggling in this game, Matt, but you know what? It hasn't been the first pitch strike. He's throwing 60% of the time a first pitch strike to hitters. It just hasn't been good stuff that he's throwing up there. The wind up and the 0 1. Now a swing and a fly ball. Diaz sprinting after it, but no chance to run it down. It's a foul ball. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And this is taken in for the second out. The batter number two. Shortstop, Gene Segura. Gene Segura standing in. A hit in two tries so far. First pitch of the at bat. And this Whoa, is taken right outside for ball one. Well, Matt, if I use the cliche, it's not how you start, how you finish, it would apply right now. A couple innings ago, he had a rough inning. Didn't look good. But now he's starting to settle in a little bit better. He may be able to get through this thing. Drilled to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. It'll be Denard Spann to lead us off when we return. It's the Blue Jays four, and the Twins nothing. Here's the center fielder, Denard Spann. He's 0 for 1 Leading thus far. Up for the, twin, the center fielder number two, Denard Spann. Into the windup and the pitch. Smoked on the ground up the middle. And Span is aboard. It's a base hit. So the Twins put their leadoff hitter on to get the inning started. Well, you make in-game adjustments, back. right, Matt? I mean, they've had a hard time scoring. Right here, he jumps on the first pitch to get things going. So I see a little bit of a change. Maybe this is how they jump start their offense for the rest of the game. Here's Miguel Sano. 
comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And this one's down off the shoe tops. 1 and 0. That's the advantage of having a good two hitter hitting second in your lineup. He knows he's going to get something to hit because they're going to pitch to him. And now here comes the heart of the order. They've got a great opportunity to get on the board here. Throw over to first. And he just manages to get his hand in. And 2 and 0 now as this misses below the knees. Well, not a great spot to be in right now. 2 and 0 to a great hitter like this. This is when you really have to pay attention as a pitcher. And if you have good off speed stuff, this might be the time to start mixing in your off speed stuff. Too high. And it's 3 and 0. This is what's frustrating at times. You know, he's got a big lead, he's got a four run lead. And then he comes out and doesn't throw strikes. Look, this thing can evaporate real quick if he doesn't throw strikes. Span the runner at first with nobody out. And he will take ball four. First and second now with nobody out. Well, they've struggled offensively in this one so far, but now after that walk, they've got runners at first and second and look ready to make a little noise. Just need a big hit now. Digging in, Jim Diaz. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Well, there's a first pitch strike. You know, only 50% of the pitches he's thrown first pitch this game have been for a strike. So I'm surprised that he's having as much success so far as he is. No runs, three hits, and no errors in the ball game for Minnesota. That's and he takes this one high, one and one. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. To short, hit hard. And that's through into left, a base hit. Span rounds third and is digging for the plate. Play at the plate, and he's out. A great throw. Hey, he's trying his hardest to help his guys get back into the game, but this time he had no shot. Applaud the hustle, but the decision was a costly one. Into the box, Eddie Rosario. He offers at it and hits it in the air to left. Carter moving in, lays out, and he's got it. A great play for out number two. Taking another look at it, the, the ball has base some top spin on it, but he's Show. on the full run and dives to make the catch. Nice defensive play right there. Here's Joe Panic. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, one and oh. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Jones is under it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Twin strand a pair. They trail here four to nothing. Back alongside Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, as Adam Jones gets set to start out the inning. Couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Here's the first pitch to him. 
The high fastball is in there. Well, he's still out there to start the fifth inning, but it's been a real grind of a start for him. The pitch count is much higher than he'd like it to be, so it's hard to imagine him working really deep into this game. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. And now pitch on the way. And he lays off for a ball two and one. Boy if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy you have to make sure it's up above the zone like that. He can't do a whole lot with that but if it were a little lower he can and will make you pay big time. He's fallen nope. behind now three and one. Now a swing and a fly ball. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Well, that'll get your head shaking at the plate. That's a pitch he hasn't used much in this game. Now he throws that for a strike, and you add that to the rest of his repertoire. Man, it's tough to cover them all. Full count. Here it comes. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Chasing after it is Rosario. He can't get to it. This one's down. That ball's off the plate. He pulls his hands in and gets the base hit to the outfield. The, the only way 20, you hit that inside pitch is if you're looking for it. Josh Look at the Donaldson. screen right here. That ball's not even in the zone. He had to be looking inside to hit that ball. Here's the third baseman, Josh Donaldson. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. First pitch coming here it is hit on the ground toward the left scooped up the second for one on the first and Donaldson's gone as well it's a double play now batting designated hitter Jose Abreu ready once again Jose Abreu no one on base for him after the double play yeah and that that two ball really changed the complexion of this inning for the second time it looked like the middle of the order was going to have a chance to get a big hit with some ducks on the pond but now they just have to try and get a two out rally started. Into the wind up and the pitch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Here it comes. Set up away with the changeup, but it's one and one. From the windup, the one one pitch. Popped up, calling for it. Paulson makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Down in order go the Blue Jays. They lead it four to nothing. Stepping into the box, Ben Paulson. He'll start things out here in the Leading home fifth, play. and it's been tough sledding first for this eight lineup eight. through the first ben half of the Paulson. game. Yeah, they haven't had any momentum going to the plate so far in this one, Matt. They need something to break their way and wake them up a bit. Be nice to get these fans involved at some point as well. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And that misses ball one. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. Swung on and missed. Outclassed by that fastball for a strike. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Slice down the left side, but foul. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. 
And a half swing that time, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the umpire, and that'll be the first out of the inning. So still nothing the against him on the scoreboard 13, here in the fifth as we John check out the league Ryan leaderboard for Murphy. Team ERA. And you can see that this staff currently leads the AL in that category. Digging in for his second at bat, John Ryan Murphy. He's 0 for 1 thus far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Right over the middle, knee high. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Chopped weakly to the left. Throw on to first, two gone. The batter, number 11, shortstop, Jorge Polanco. Digging in the switch hitter, Jorge Polanco. He singled his last time up. Now here's the pitch. That hits the outside corner. It's strike one. I really like how he's getting ahead early in the count. He's pitching aggressively, and what that does, it holds the pitch count down. The wind up and the 0 1. Swing and a liner. But this will be foul. Two outs, two strikes, and we're in the fifth inning. And he's got one pitch, I think, away from getting through five shutout innings. It's pretty impressive right now. That fastball straightens him up a bit. One and two now. 0 oh, 2 pitch, not even close to the zone. And a fastball might be an indication that he's going to start using some of his secondary pitches. over towards the dugout but this one will get into the stands that is too good a pitch to make right there with two strikes but he fouled it off now you got to stay aggressive and go get him again hold high in the air out to right field Batista has a read on it and that retires the side down go the twins in order they're down four nothing. Jose Barrios please. will come on now and make his fourth twins, appearance in this campaign. 17, Jose Ready for another chance? Carlos Santana. Leading He'll lead Toronto. it off here against Jose First Barrios. Baseman, Carlos Santana. And that one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. And they won't get him to chase the curveball in the dirt that time. And it's 2-0 and now. The pitch. 2-1 and one now. We got two balls, one strike. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as yes he did. It's ruled a strike. And the pitch. Outside and a full count three and two. Hit hard but foul. Once again a 3-2. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. The next 3-2. And this is down at knee level as it's chopped foul at home plate. The 
payoff pitch one more time. And he'll get to see another one. It'll be the tenth pitch of this at bat. Another payoff pitch. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. And that at bat will put a now smile on any manager's face. Fielder. The pitch total of the Joe opposing pitcher just Carter. keeps going higher and higher, and he still couldn't put him away. So this inning is off to a good start for the guys carrying the sticks. Digging in to try it again, Joe Carter. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. High fly ball out to straightaway center. And this is handled out there by Span for the first out. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Now batting. Catcher. Steven Vogt. Digging in once again. Steven Vogt. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. Some movement now in the Minnesota bullpen as a right hander's up and throwing. And he starts him out with a strike on the outer half. Good pitch right there from the reliever. Tough for hitters to do much with pitches in that location unless they're looking for it. Runners on first with one down. And he chased up and out of the zone, a swing and a miss. Man, he's got a good fastball. He showed it off right there. He blew it right by him. Oh, and two, here it is. Swing and a miss got him reaching. Pretty textbook now breaking batting. ball for the punch out right, right there. Got it to Ball's bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. Into the box now, Jose Batista as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. The 0 1. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Now a ball hit pretty well to the left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. The throw to first is in time and the inning is over. Blue Jays held in check but they hold a four to nothing lead. Riding in once again, Eduardo Nunez. He'll have the opportunity to kick things off as we begin the home six. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt, the first pitch. And he lays off there, 1 0. Well, it's been a good outing so far, but he hasn't really racked up the strikeout totals that you might think, Dan. Yeah, it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different, Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching everyone out. But other times, you don't have your good stuff and you really rely on movement and location to get yeah. outs. That's been the case for him today, and it's really working. One thing you try to do as a hitter is figure out what pattern the pitcher is pitching. I can't cover the whole plate. He's done a masterful job of pounding them on the outside half for strikes, and they haven't figured it out yet. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Here's the one and two delivery. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Yeah. 
He's ready with the 2 2 pitch. Ball three. Three and two now. Well, he's been throwing the ball pretty well so far, but right here, three balls to the leadoff guy to maybe get them a chance to get them going. He's just got to come back, make them swing the bat. I'd rather see him earn his way on the base by swinging the bat instead of a walk. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. Here for it is Segura to make the play. One gone. The center fielder, number two, Denard Span. Digging in and looking for more, Denard Span. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Into the windup and the pitch. In on the hands of it with the fastball, it's 1 0. No runs, four hits, and no errors in the ballgame for Minnesota. And Span will watch another one miss. It's 2 0 now. Now the pitch. Swing and a ball hit to the left side, and this is going to wind up a souvenir. Oh, that was a good pitch to hit. He wants that one back. He was just a little bit late on it. Line drive snagged on a short hop. A flip from short right gets him, and there are two away. Oh, no, man, you can't hit a ball any baseman. harder than that. I mean, Me this too. ball gets on him in a heartbeat. Oh. Nice job to stay with it, though, and then make the out at first. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Miguel Sano comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Inside with the fastball, it's 1 0. Two out, nobody on. That's wide 2 and 0. These guys have got to be frustrated as an offensive unit so far in this one. They haven't been able to crack the code on their opponent, but it's not like they're getting great pitch to hit either. This starter has kept the ball on the corners of the zone all game long. From the windup, the 2 0 pitch. And he holds up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. And the pitch on two and one. On a good pitch there, had him stretching to get out there, and it's two and two now. That was an ugly swing, and that's indicative of how they've been swinging the bat today. They just have not looked like they're picking the ball up at all. He's just dominating them. And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at two and two. Popped high in the air. Santana is there for it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Twins are set down one, two, three. They're on the short end of a four-nothing score. Welcome back to Target Field here in Minneapolis. Seventh inning coming up with the Jays out in front as we give you a look at our game summary to this point. Ready for another shot now. Hernan Perez. Toronto. 0 for Second 1 with a run one. scored thus far. Hernan Some action Perez. out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. Into the windup and the pitch. And a curveball that started low and broke lower. Ball one. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Pitch on the way. Down low, two balls and a strike. Count is two and one. Ready to deal. Here's the 2 1. 
Got a piece. It's two and two. I like how he's mixing up the fastball and the changeup right there. That's how we got the two and two count. I think he comes back with a changeup here. Set to deal on two and two. On the ground to third. Sano comes up with it. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Had number to protect two. there with two strikes, Shortstop. and he just got mm -hmm. it off the end of the bat. Not much of a problem for the infield at that point. In now, Gene Segura. As the first pitch misses high and inside for ball one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. A fastball that just misses inside. One out, nobody on. Too tight with that one. 3 and 0. On deck, the dangerous Adam Jones. From the windup, the 3 0 pitch. Hey. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. I really like what he did right there. 2 and 0, he wasn't able to hit the spot he was shooting for. 3 0, he made a better pitch, and now he sits 3 1. Let's see what he does here. Fastball is taken for a strike and he runs it full three and two. Bases are empty, one man out. And here's a ball hit in the air. Polanco ranging into the outfield. He's got it and there are two down now. Now batting number That's 10. exactly what they Adam wanted Jones. out of that pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. Here's the center fielder now Adam Jones. As he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Up and in here as he had to bend out of danger. Wow, I love to watch a guy who's not afraid to move a hitter's feet. You work inside like that, all of a sudden guys aren't likely to dive out, out over the plate. Outside, 2 and 1. And now this is foul tipped at the plate and that appeared to catch a lot of the home plate umpire in the process. Hope he's all right down there. Hot shot to third. Great effort on the dive but it's through into left. He gets another hit his third hit of the game. Now he's been ice cold at the plate recently. 20. So maybe we're Josh seeing signs of him Donaldson. coming out of it. Ready once again, Josh Donaldson. No hits in three tries so far. He's struck out once. And this one's in the dirt. And no advance. It's ball one. And the fastball hitting 93 on the gun. It's one and one. Way outside. Nearly to the backstop. Two and one. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. 
changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Now that's a good changeup right there. You know the guy's sitting fastball. You get him out in front. Now that changeup's in his head the rest of the at bat. All even at two and two. Here it is. And a swing and a miss as he pulled the string on the breaking ball, and the inning is over. Ladies One left gentlemen. for Toronto, for but the they're in front four to nothing. Stretch. In now, Jim Leading Diaz. He'll start things out here right in the bottom fielder, of inning number seven. Jim now some definite signs of life in that Toronto bullpen. Both a lefty and a right-hander begin to throw. First pitch on its way. Good late break to the slider here, but he takes it in on the hands for ball one. Now this guy has retired a whole slew right now. I think what he needs to do is just stay focused and keep attacking the game plan like he has up to this point because everything he's done has worked. And he takes a cold strike one. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And another foul ball. Here he comes again, one, two. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Seems like he's thrown everything at him, the kitchen sink, and he just fouled him off. So he tried to throw something right there and make him chase, and he didn't. So I don't know where he goes from here. Full count, three and two. Eddie Rosario is on deck. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Another full count pitch home. And that misses ball four. It's a leadoff walk to start the home seventh. Well, they haven't been able to scratch a run across yet, so maybe this walk will jumpstart their offense a little bit. Stepping into the box, Eddie Rosario. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. And some action now in the Toronto bullpen as a right-hander starts to get loose. Donnie straightens him up with a fastball that time. It's ball one. Well, with the leadoff man getting on right there, Matt, they are falling so far behind. They have to capitalize. They have to get some runs to get back in this thing. Down the first baseline. Step on the back for one. Throw back to second, and that's a double play. Here's Joe Panic. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. First pitch coming. Here it is. Here's a slider that's inside 1 and 0. Wow, that was a decent breaking ball right there, but that's just a pitch that's a little easier to lay off of when you're opposite handed, opposite bat. You could see the sweep of the ball coming right into you. That was a great take. And he looks at a slider in there, one and one. Guys, I've been really impressed with him tonight. I mean, he's carving these guys up with all of his pitches. And now the Blue Jays get a left-hander up and throwing in their bullpen. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. And the third baseman will have a look at it, but this is back into the seats. Boy, he's been great in this one. He's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. Fouled back. I like the pitch right there. Two strike fastball out of the zone. See if he'll chase. I'd go even further out this time. See if he chases it again. 
And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. Count holds at one and two. Well, that's three foul balls in a row. He's definitely battling up there. One and two. Here it comes. Now a fastball taken outside here as it moves it to two and two now. Well, one thing about him, he's an absolute grinder at the plate. You can pretty much count on him battling at the plate every chance he gets. Grounded down the third baseline, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Another 2-2 two -two offering. He spoils another one and will do it again. Well, now they wait to work the count. This is a long A-B, but if they wanted to have any shot at him, you need to have these kind of at-bats early in the game. Making him work out there. The ninth pitch of the at-bat coming up. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's 3-2 and two now. I got to commend him for being a really tough out right now. Not everyone will battle like this with two outs and nobody on. Count is full. Here's the pitch. And he struck him out. A 10 pitch battle, but he finally wears him down as the inning is over. Nothing doing here for the Twins. They trail here four to nothing. Settling in now, Jose Abreu. He'll have the first crack at it here as we start inning number eight. Jose Abreu. First delivery to him on the way. And now the first pitch of the inning is sent in the air out to straightaway center. And this is handled out there by Span for the first out. Now batting the first baseman, Carlos Santana. Here's Carlos Santana now. 0 for 2 with a walk for him so far. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Right on the corner, a fastball that he takes for a strike. One out, nobody on. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. From the windup, the one one pitch. Curveball that time, not even close. He's pitching him with the respect of the power hitting left hander that he is. If you're going to beat me, you're going to beat me the opposite direction. I like the strategy. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. And a fastball, but he's losing it a bit here to three and one now. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. How about him? Left fielder, Joe Carter. Coming to the plate now, Joe Carter. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Into the windup and the pitch. Nope. And a fastball just a bit up. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. Foul toward the third base dugout, but this will get back into the seats out of play. 1 and 1, here it comes. Fouled off again, and now he's in a 1 and 2 hole. Halfway to 100 pitches, here it is. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. Murphy. Corrals it and the throw to first ends the inning. 
So they're held in check here this half of the inning. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the Blue Jays four and the Twins nothing. Now at the plate, Ben Paulson. He leads off their half of the eighth, the and they've been unable to get that starter out of the game to this point. Yeah, he settled in early on the mound, partly due to the lead his guys gave him to take some of the pressure off. He's taken that and pitched very effectively in this one. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Pitch to the plate is a slider for a strike, and it's all knotted up at one and one. Here it comes on one and one. Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. Here's a swing and a ground ball, but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Wow, that's one of the toughest pitches in baseball to hit, right? The that catcher, good straight 13, changeup, El Cambio. John There's not Ryan much you can do with that. Murphy. You're going off of that arm speed and the ball, it just doesn't get there. Stepping in now, John Ryan Murphy. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. One and zero pitch on the way. A high fastball is in there. Ready with the one one pitch. Knee high slider that he takes a look at. Ready to deliver the one and two. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Here's another one, two. And in the left field for a one out hit. Standing in, Jorge Polanco. One for two on his line so far in the game. Chop foul right at home plate, and it's 0-1. There's a fastball that just misses ball one. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Grounded to third. Donaldson's up with it. One there. On to first. It's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. Thursday night baseball rolls on. We'll have more after this. Back now in the Twin Cities for what remains of this production of baseball on the show. Glenn Perkins. Enters now the game from the, the pen, and because this is Number a non-save situation, it's Len evident that they're just trying to get him some work after having not thrown in several days. Yeah, and this is all about just getting him some work, guys. He hasn't had a chance to come in and close a game out for several days now, so they're just hoping they can keep him sharp and give him the chance to pitch in a real game situation here. Stephen Vogt is in to start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning, 1-0. One-zero pitch. 
And the slider just stayed north of the strike zone that time. You know, this is the matchup they wanted bringing in the reliever, but falling behind 2 0 doesn't exactly help the situation very much. 2 0 pitch on the way. And this is drifting foul back into the stands. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Two and two count. Here it comes. Shin high fastball that time. Ball three. On deck is Jose Batista. He's set. Here's the three and two. Fastball called strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Up next for the Blue Jays, right fielder. Jose so striding Bautista. in, Jose Bautista. Lifetime versus this arm, four for 11. He also has one home run. Here's the first pitch to him. And he'll miss the target away with the fastball. It's 1 0. One oh count here it is takes a fastball on the inside corner we're seeing quite a few pitches up from him right now and that can obviously be dangerous a cold strike there but he might need to lower his sights a little bit here's the one and one delivery a fastball down near the shoe tops. Bautista waits on the 2 1. Leaves a slider up high, but it's taken for a strike. Set to deal on 2 and 2. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Ready now with the payoff pitch. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back to back K's and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. Digging in, Hernan Perez. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Now a swing and a fly ball. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Blue Jays go down in order. They lead it four to nothing. Stepping into the box, Eduardo Nunez. He's going to lead Leading things off, off in their half of the, of the ninth the as they try to avoid the dreaded better. shutout. Eduardo it's never a good Nunez. feeling to get shut out. And over the course of the season, it's bound to happen a few times. They've just been overmatched by good pitching. Now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. Throw to first will get him as they pounce on it quickly to snuff out the bunt attempt. Well he was planning two. that before he even got in the box and Bang. he got it down but it wasn't quite good enough to put him on board. Coming to the plate now Denard Spann. He's working on a one for three thus far. And he tries to hold back on the swing, but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Now the pitch. 
This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now, 0-2. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, and it's just about every at bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. I'm pretty surprised by the location on those last three pitches. The book on him is that he hits the way pitch pretty well, and he just saw three in a row out there. So does he go back out there again? No, Matt, I expect him to mix it up. Most catchers won't call for the same location over and over and over. Splitter, two and two. Bases are empty, one man out. Now a little pop-up off toward the third base side. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Now another 2-2. Two -two. And a slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. Hey, one of the things you want to do with a starter, get that pitch count up. Here's another productive at bat as this count now gets to three balls and two strikes. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. He'll try it again, three and two. Now here's a ball hit in the air to straightaway right field. This ball's got plenty of carry to it, and it is out of here. A solo shot off the bat of Denard Spann. Number 11 for him on the season. As they get on the board, it's four to one now. He's been absolutely cruising until now. The bad news is he gave up the long ball. The good news is he's still up three runs this far along in the game. Solo home runs aren't going to beat you very often, so you just have to let them go when they happen. Here comes a Toronto skipper out toward the pitcher's mound, and a change is forthcoming as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening. So a strong performance here as he worked his way into the ninth, but he let the bullpen try and close with the final two outs. Rysel Iglesias takes the ball now, now in inning number Luka. nine, looking to close number the door. Rysel Iglesias. Next Here's Miguel Sano. Third baseman. Miguel. As he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. The 1 and 0 delivery. That's wide 2 and 0. Man, I don't know if they want any part of him. Two pitches away. I know he's sitting 2 0 now. This will tell us a lot. Will he come in now or will he continue to stay away? Here he comes on 2 and 0. And a good eye that time to lay off the fastball. It's 3 and 0. That's the kind of pitch that reminds me of many reasons why I wasn't a very good hitter. This thing was inside and coming in hot. And he just gave a stone cold take. I'm bailing out of the way if I'm in the box. No doubt about it. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks now the first is. man he faces. Right. And with the bases empty, yeah. you don't feel bad yeah. about walking that guy. He's capable of taking deep every time he digs in. So it's not the worst thing in the world to work around him if you can. Now at the plate, Jim Diaz. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Here's the first pitch to him. Grounder down the line at third. There's one. The relay not in time as he beats the throw by a step. No real chance from the roll two that fielding. time. Number He's just 20. too quick coming out Eddie of the batter's box. Rosario. You basically have to make a perfect turn on a hard hit ball to double him up. Now they need to keep an eye on him over at first. 
Now at the plate, Eddie Rosario. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. First delivery to him on the way. Lays off 1-0. He's ready. Here's the 1 0 to first. And there's his first base hit in this one. And he'll make it up safely to third, so they're at the corners now with two men out. Well, Matt, that was a huge a at bat. He gets the single right here. There's two out in the ninth, and it brings the tying run to the plate. Stepping up now, Joe Panic. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. He's set and the pitch. Wouldn't bite on a good sinker that time that missed. No doubt. Some saves come easier than others, and I know this all too well. They're really making wrapping this thing up a difficult task. Looking to minimize the damage here. 2 and 0. Oh. Well, I know the last thing he wants to do is load the bases right here. So the pressure is on right now to get back in the strike zone. Two and zero oh count. Here it comes. Looks at a two seamer right down the middle. Oh, that's for sure going to be a pitch he wants back. You're not going to get many balls right in the wheelhouse from a top level arm like this. The two and one on its way. He's fallen behind now. Three and one. Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit it now. Three and one, two on. He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. He's set. Here's the three one. Panic a bit out in front here as this will be fouled down the right side and out of play. All right. Three two count with two outs. The runner on first will be moving, so we'll see what happens. There are a lot. Ah, and he strikes him out to end it here as they were able to get the possible tying run to the plate but could not cash in. Yeah, and they know this is going to be a tough stretch on the road. To win the first game of the series has got to feel pretty good. Something to build on for tomorrow. A 4-1 to one finish in this evening's game. Junior Guerra earns win number four on the season, turning in eight and a third of quality work. So that just about does it for Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com.